All of the Hershey defensive prowess was on display tonight at Blue Cross Arena. So much so, they essentially played the entire third period in a defensive shell, and it worked. The Emmerichs did not score, but they did have a good number of chances. Also helps for the Bears to have a guy like Hunter Shepard in goal. Tonight, his second shutout of the series. Emmerichs have a pretty good goalie, too. Malcolm Subban tested right away. This one was scoreless to the second. How about Brett Murray, a point-blank chance, but Shepard equal to the task. Here's the goal. The only mistake Subban made, Shane Gersich makes him pay. The five-on-three opportunity, that came two minutes later. But first, how about Mason Yops? Breakaway, instead of shooting, tries to pass back. Probably not the best idea. Then the Amherst went five-on-three. Off the one knee, Michael Mersh usually scores. Not tonight, though. In the third, Hershey in that shell. Isaac Rosean, a good look. Ethan Prow forces a blocker save. Best chance of the period. Amherst shorthanded. A minute change to go. Sean Malone walks in front, but backhand into Shepard's chest. A moment later, it was celebration and handshakes. Carl Jones was at Blue Cross Arena all night, and he can put Rochester's season to bed. Yeah, despite the final score tonight, Emmerich's head coach Seth Appert thought they were the better team tonight. He felt as if Rochester outplayed Hershey, but they couldn't get enough breaks to go their way. He added that this loss stings, but not because they won't get the chance to win the Calder Cup, but because he won't be able to coach this group ever again. This group it took time for us to become who we became. Uh, and they had to fight really hard to become a team that really played the right way and loved playing for each other and loved being Amherst. Um, but we grew to that, and I'm incredibly proud of them. And so to, to not get to come and practice or have another game with them is probably the worst that I had. You know, last year I think it would have been 20 years since we won a playoff series, and now we've won four in two years and came within two games of being in the Calder Cup Finals, and there's going to be a North Division banner. Uh, in this rink for the first time in two decades, and it's not the banner we wanted, uh, but it's still a banner we're going to be damn proud of. Apper said coaches usually look to the future, but when he finally gets the chance to look back on this group, he said it'll bring a smile to his face because of how much they love each other and how fun of a group it was to coach. For the final time this season, reporter from Blue Cross Arena, Carl Jones, 